Quiet, everyone. I'm sorry that I didn't make it all the way down the stairs today, but baby steps. That's right, Mom. <laughs> oh, my Karen, my baby, all grown up. I so wish your father could have been here today. I wish he could have seen you, our sweet girl, all grown up. Aww. And I know he would be so proud of his grandbaby, no matter who the father was, except Frank. <laughs> he hated Frank. <laughs> but it couldn't be Frank, because there wasn't any penetration. Eddie didn't like being penetrated. He had a funny bump on the side of his penis that we thought was cancer. But it turned out I was just being too rough on him. So. <laughs> There's been some obstacles and some pitfalls, but she's made some wonderful, wonderful friends along the way, like Lip and all the Gallaghers, people I just used to only know as the ones in that house where the cops always came. Jesus, is that bitch ever gonna shut up? And Frank's mother. We're just so honored that you're here, even though you weren't even invited and not really honored because you're a convicted felon. Mm -hmm. But you're out now, aren't you? Why, why did they let you out? Because you're a loud, mean, vicious bitch. Oh. Oh. <coughs> okay, Mom, let's open presents. Why don't you do yourself and everyone else a favor and shut up? Oh. Have I offended you in my home where you're an interloper? No one wants to hear it, you fucking windbag. Okay, Mom, let's go upstairs. She called me a whacker drive whore. Oh. Frank. I'll let him work it out. And I don't know how an angel like that man could have come out of your poison womb. Shut up, you batty bitch. You know what? You've got a demon mind and a devil's womb and heart. And your coochie smells of brimstone and sulfur.